Magpie Bottom is an SSSI for its chalk grassland interest principally, and the UK is very important for its chalk grassland. It supports a huge variety of chalk grassland species, plants not only important in their own right, but they are, they are the food plants of a whole host of insects and butterflies, and they're all dependent on this chalk grass and ecosystem. Just in front of us here we've got an example of, of the, the diversity of just this little patch of chalk grass in here. We've got devil's bit scabious, a whole host of, of grasses and sedges including sheep's fescue, glaucus sedge, wild thyme, we've got rock rose, we've got marjoram, field scabious, so there's a huge variety just in this small area. So if we'd come here earlier in the summer, we may have seen clouds of butterflies like Chalk Hill Blue, Common Blue, Brown Argus, all of which are dependent on some of the species occurring in the chalk grassland. The management of the habitat is all important because some of these orchids like a very short sward, so there's little competition from the more rank species. The fragrant orchid in particular likes this very short sward. Uh, when it sets seed, the seed are very fine and dust-like, so they just float on the breeze, and they're very dependent on being able to land on soil of just the right type, so it needs to be of low nutrient status, it needs to have the right fungus within the soil in order to develop, um, and obviously very few of the seeds actually survive. The main reason for the decline of chalk grassland is largely to agricultural improvement, ploughing up, fertilising, the improvement of land for food production. The other main loss of chalk grassland is through the lack of management, through areas like this not being grazed, uh, being encroached by scrub and then turning into woodland. the Kent Wildlife Trust would do and does on its other reserves is use staff and, and volunteer teams to come in and cut back the vegetation using a mixture of uh, brush cutters, uh, loppers and all sorts of things. Here you can see the gradual blending in of the shorter chalk grassland vegetation into this much ranker vegetation here with a mixture of bramble, hawthorn, um, rose, uh, here's some agrimony here, this is a bit of privet, um, some marjoram here and, and the brambles providing this structure that's all important for all sorts of, of insects as well as feeding grounds for birds. Here the grazing is carried out during the late summer to autumn months. About 40 cattle are brought on and they are put in firstly one, one section of the reserve and then to the other and gradually they will eat the year's crop of, of grassland essentially. By that time a lot of the, the, the butterflies and the, the wildflowers have, have been able to, to set seed and go through their life cycle. There are still some around but because grazing is a relatively natural process this is by far the most sustainable way of, of managing this sort of chalk grassland. The Darrick Triangle Living Landscape project is all about trying to engage with local people, engage with landowners and farmers to improve uh, wildlife management 
to create better links between existing reserves and existing interesting areas for wildlife. Magpie Bottom is right at the middle of this area and very close to existing SSSI areas and local wildlife site areas and what we're trying to do is create better links for wildlife between them. Not only physical links but um, links between the landowners who manage it, the local people that live in the landscape and use the landscape. Thank you.